On the surface, and even at a fundamental level, Destiny 2 is a lot more Destiny. The structure is largely the same as is the mechanically excellent shooting and satisfying loot grind. But there are a variety of changes both under the hood and throughout your activities that make it a significant improvement over the original and a better experience for more than just the most hardcore players. From the onset, there's an overwhelming amount of stuff to do. The Red War story funnels you through each of the four areas you can explore, introducing you to each one as you go. At each destination, there's a bunch of optional activities to choose from, including story-like adventure missions, simple loot dungeons called Lost Sectors that lead to hidden areas of the map, and public events and patrols which return from Destiny 1. Then as you progress through the story, you'll unlock the Strike Playlist and PvP in the Crucible. For a newcomer to Destiny, it can be hard to know what to do and when. There are a lot more survivors out there, and they need our help. We gotta get the word out that the farm is a safe haven. I sent a friend into the EDZ a few hours ago to set up a comm network. His name's Devram K. Good guy. Great shot. Don't tell him I said that. The story missions are less about plot and more about acclimating you to everything there is to see. You'll level up at a pretty steady pace, but there are two level-gated missions that essentially force you to complete adventures and other activities for XP before you can move on. There's no actual reason for the missions to have level requirements, which can be a bit annoying, but having direction is welcome after Destiny 1's lack thereof. And aside from netting you XP and loot, the semi-hidden lost sectors reward exploration, while adventures are filled with lore and interesting details about the world that fall outside of the scope of the main story. Plus, if you're burnt out on standard PvE, you can switch to PvP to level up, which requires different gear and skills. The Red War story is enough to serve its main purpose, which is to contextualize the shooting and looting you're doing through it all. You don't need to know much to get going, except that humanity is in danger and you of all people have the power to help. The story's strengths lie in atmosphere and side details, not plot, and that should be fine for the majority of players who see the story as a prerequisite to playing the actual game. The mournful soundtrack in particular is fantastic, and that's what carried me through the most basic story beats, even on repeat playthroughs. It's a hell of a view, isn't it? Like in Destiny 1, there's a lot of grinding to be done between finishing the story and moving on to the high-level endgame activities like the Nightfall Strike and the Raid. And again, like in Destiny 1, the shoot and loot feedback loop feels fantastic. The gunplay is still excellent, and being rewarded for your efforts with an even better gun is something worth celebrating. The biggest change is how much quicker it is to increase your light level, now called power, with minimal grinding early on. The combat isn't any easier because of it though, so it simply takes away the Destiny 1 era frustration of running the same few strikes a dozen times before you can move on to literally anything else. Plus, knowing you might get a slightly more fashionable pair of gauntlets from a 5 minute public event gives you the kind of instant gratification that will sustain you through to the endgame. Though there's plenty you can do on your own, Destiny 2 is undeniably a shared experience. That can come on many different levels. You can work silently with complete strangers to trigger a heroic public event that gets you all better loot, and on the opposite end of the spectrum, you can coordinate with five friends for hours on end to tackle the raid. You can also join a clan, which can grant you a number of passive benefits like legendary gear as long as someone in your clan is meeting certain milestones. On top of that, Destiny 2 also introduces guided games where solo players can search for groups who are short one person and willing to help them through difficult in-game activities like the Nightfall or Raid. Success through strong teamwork is absolutely the best part of Destiny, and the top to bottom tweaks and additions in Destiny 2 can make it more accessible without dampening your sense of accomplishment. Meeting the level requirement for the Nightfall or Raid and actually completing it are two very different things, and getting in sync with your fire team and flawlessly executing a strategy takes a lot of work. The first two Nightfall Strikes, for example, both introduced a modifier to the original strike that forces you and your team to coordinate loadouts and stay in constant communication about which weapons and subclasses you're using. You have to figure that out while also shooting waves of enemies and trying not to die. You'll most likely fail, but each failure helps you perfect your strategy incrementally, and the process of collectively achieving that goal is immensely satisfying. This vessel will challenge you in a way you have never dreamed. Let's enjoy ourselves. 
At the highest level, the vast and visually striking raid combines the need for top-tier weapons and gear, picking the correct subclass and loadout based on what your team needs, strong combat skills, and problem-solving as a group. Destiny 2's first raid, Leviathan, is very, very difficult, and solving its often obscure puzzles can be both rewarding and frustrating. For the most part, each failure teaches you something new, and the GameSpot raid team actually cheered after we came up with a solid strategy while going in blind. But there was one section in the middle that we struggled to complete even after we figured out what to do conceptually. Of course, this was after about five straight hours of raiding, so fatigue was definitely a factor, but it didn't blend the puzzle-solving part with actual execution as well as the previous sections of the raid did. In true Destiny fashion, if you do something once, you'll probably end up doing it many more times. The difference with Destiny 2 is in the variety and accessibility of what's available, which cuts down on a lot of the frustration associated with grinding. And even after you've leveled up, there's still more you can do from keeping up with daily and weekly challenges to just hanging out with friends. It's a much stronger foundation than the original had, and one that's enough on its own to keep people coming back week after week. If we wait, we die. But if we attack together, we can take back our home, our light, our hope, or we die trying. Now, I need my fire team. I need Ikora and Cade. <laughs>